Good morning, gentlemen. So I got, uh, I think they're called the Quick Connect. Probably wrong on that. It's for a uh, 3-8 airline. And uh, basically on the log truck. <clears throat> and most trucks in general, these lines are under your brakes. And then on the log truck, they enter from the truck to the trailer. And they drag and they get cut and they do all kinds of bad things. And uh, you can see I've fixed a bunch of them already. So they're fairly cheap. You buy them as a kit. It's uh, your nut, this piece, the middle piece, and there's two ferrules. They go in there. And uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to fix them. And I'll, I'll usually, I try to save the ferrules just because it's pretty easy to fix them. But having a couple of good ones on hand is not a bad idea. So I'll set you up in the old tackle box here. And we'll take you through it. Hopefully I don't lose you. So vice helps. You only really need these two wrenches, but vice helps. Come on. They just thread together. Feral, and it squishes down and gets all distorted. So I don't know if you're allowed to do that. I mean, the DOT's got some funny ideas on things that are legal and not legal. All for very good reasons, I'm sure. You know, one guy screws things up and it kind of makes a mess for everybody else. But it does do it right. So, that's a part. That aside, and sometimes you can get into pop free. Just like that. So, let's set these aside. And to assemble one of these, take your piece of hose, slip your nut on, cut it flush. Slip that guy on, and then you put it all together. I'm not going to do that today because we'll just put these back into spare parts. Man. So we'll just come on. Make a fool out of me, huh? <laughs> Mmm, road grime. Ah, it's cross-threaded. So we'll switch sides. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's not the idea. Put these aside. So then when you cut a line, you have a way to fix it in a hurry. So then if you want to salvage these guys, so this is how I do it. Cut that down. I'm just cutting it down so that it makes room for the other part. This one's kind of stubby, so I might lose a finger on this one. Right through the meat of my thumb. So you just have the nub, a little bit of hose still stuck in there. So you take anything tapered, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it jams in there and stays put. And then basically you just set it, keep a little pressure on it, and then you hit. Keep the short side to the big side of the taper. That's important. And just give her a couple love taps. And I'll straighten it all right back out. That comes up real easy. We got one that needs a little bit of dressing. And we got a little 
a little bit bigger taper for that. But the trick is, that little piece of rubber in there, and that keeps you from flattening the barbs in the inside. And just a couple taps, I wouldn't use a freaking framing hammer. <clears throat> That's what we have on hand today. I still gotta fix my other hammers. Somebody keeps breaking things. Anyhow, it's not something you want to do in the woods. Try to get this fixed, you know, while you're supposed to be hauling logs. It's not my idea of fun. That's it. Doesn't take a whole lot of talent or anything. Just uh, you know, these little grooves will close down. And just bend them till they're straight again. So that one's a little crooked, but I can make that work. Doesn't hurt anything. They're a little bit small. You know. That's it for today. Fix the truck and uh, this truck's actually, I think everything's fixed right now. Wow, I'm just taking care of all the mess I've had since I haven't had a day off in freaking two months. <laughs> yeah, talk to you later.